Ever wondered how a Bitcoin transaction works? Let's take a moment to demystify it. Bitcoin transactions might seem like a complex beast, but in reality, they're not that hard to grasp. It's a fascinating process, a blend of cryptography, distributed networks, and game theory. Now, why should you care? Well, understanding Bitcoin transactions is a crucial step for anyone venturing into the world of cryptocurrency. It's like knowing the rules of the game before playing it. This knowledge not only empowers you to navigate the crypto space confidently, but also helps you appreciate the ingenious design underpinning Bitcoin. It's the beating heart of the Bitcoin network, the mechanism that makes Bitcoin a decentralized, secure and transparent currency. So, are you intrigued, excited, ready to unravel the mystery behind Bitcoin transactions? Let's dive in. First things first, you need a Bitcoin wallet. Just as you stash your physical cash in a leather wallet, Bitcoin too needs a place for safekeeping. That's where Bitcoin wallets come into play. A Bitcoin wallet is an essential tool in the world of cryptocurrency. It's your personal interface to the Bitcoin network, just like your online bank account is an interface to the traditional monetary system. A Bitcoin wallet is a software application where Bitcoins are stored. But wait, let's be clear. Technically, Bitcoins aren't stored anywhere. What's actually stored are secure digital keys used to access your public Bitcoin addresses and sign transactions. This brings us to the concept of public and private keys. Picture a mailbox. Anyone can drop a letter into the slot but only you, with your unique key, can access the letters inside. The mailbox is your public key, available to everyone for transactions. Anyone can send Bitcoin to this public address. The key to open the mailbox, however, is your private key, which must be kept secret. Anyone who has your private key can spend your Bitcoins. So you see, the Bitcoin wallet doesn't exactly store your Bitcoins. Instead, it stores your Bitcoin addresses, which are a string of numbers and letters needed for Bitcoin transactions. There are various types of Bitcoin wallets catering to different needs and varying in terms of safety, security, convenience, and a host of other properties. They range from the highly secure to the relatively simple. There are hardware wallets, software wallets, and even paper wallets. In the end, the choice of wallet comes down to how you balance your needs between security, convenience, and how much you plan to transact. Choosing your Bitcoin wallet is a significant step. And once you've got it, you're ready to dive into the world of Bitcoin transactions. Remember, your wallet is your personal bank in the world of Bitcoin. So, you have your wallet. Now, how do you initiate a transaction? Commencing a Bitcoin transaction is a straightforward process, but it's essential to get it right. It all starts with the recipient's Bitcoin address, a unique identifier that functions much like an email address, but for Bitcoin. This address is a long string of alphanumeric characters, and it's crucial to ensure it's entered correctly. A single mistake could send your Bitcoin into the abyss of the blockchain, never to be seen again. Once you've entered the recipient's address, it's time to decide on the amount of Bitcoin you wish to send. The beauty of Bitcoin lies in its divisibility. You don't need to send a whole Bitcoin, you can send fractions of one. This makes it accessible and usable, regardless of the current price of a single Bitcoin. Now this is where things get interesting. Every Bitcoin transaction incurs a fee. This isn't a fee imposed by some central authority, but rather a reward for the Bitcoin miners who verify and record your transaction on the blockchain. But you might be wondering, why does the fee matter? Well, the transaction fee directly impacts the speed of your transaction. The higher the fee you're willing to pay, the quicker your transaction will be processed. It's a bit like express shipping for your Bitcoin. Miners are incentivized to prioritize transactions with higher fees, as it's more profitable for them. However, if you're not in a rush, you can opt for a lower fee. Just keep in mind that your transaction might take a bit longer to process. Some wallets even offer a feature to customize your fee based on your urgency, a handy tool for managing your transactions effectively. And there you have it. Once you've input the recipient's address, decided on the amount, and set your fee, you're all set. It's as simple as clicking send or submit. Your transaction is then broadcasted to the Bitcoin network, awaiting verification by miners. Once you've set everything up, you're ready to send your Bitcoin into the digital realm. But wait, how does the system know your transaction is legitimate? You might be wondering. Well, that's where Bitcoin miners come in. These are the custodians of the Bitcoin network, whose primary role is to validate transactions and maintain the integrity of the blockchain. Here's how it works. When you initiate a Bitcoin transaction, it doesn't get processed right away. Instead, it enters a pool of unconfirmed transactions. 
This is the playground for Bitcoin miners. They pick up these transactions, verify them, and then add them to the blockchain. But how do they verify transactions, you may ask? Good question. Miners use powerful computers to solve complex mathematical problems. These problems are actually cryptographic puzzles derived from transactions. Solving these puzzles is like finding a key. When a miner finds the right key, it means they've successfully validated a batch of transactions. This batch of transactions is then formed into a block. Each block contains a record of several transactions like a page in a ledger. And once a block is complete, it's added to the blockchain, an ever-growing chain of blocks. Each new block is linked to the previous one, forming a chain of blocks, hence the name, blockchain. But miners don't do this out of the goodness of their hearts. They're incentivized to mine. When a miner successfully adds a block to the blockchain, they are rewarded with a certain number of bitcoins. This reward is known as the block reward. It's worth mentioning that the process of validating transactions and creating new blocks is resource intensive. It requires a lot of computational power and electricity, but it's a necessary process to maintain the security and decentralization of the Bitcoin network. So, what's the takeaway here? Every time you make a Bitcoin transaction, it goes through a rigorous process of verification. It's checked and double-checked by miners, ensuring that all transactions are legitimate and the integrity of the blockchain is maintained. And just like that, the miners validate your transaction adding it to the ever-growing blockchain. So, your transaction has been verified, what happens next? Once your transaction has been verified, it enters the final stage of the process, confirmation. This confirmation phase is the digital equivalent of getting a receipt for your transaction. It's the network's way of saying yes, your transaction is legitimate and it's been recorded in the Bitcoin blockchain. Now you may be wondering, why is this confirmation step necessary? Well, it's all about security. In the Bitcoin network, a transaction isn't considered fully secure until it has been confirmed multiple times. Each confirmation reduces the risk of a transaction being reversed or double spent, making it increasingly secure. But what does it mean to have multiple confirmations? In essence, each confirmation is a new block added to the blockchain that includes and acknowledges your transaction. The more blocks that are added on top of yours, the more confirmations your transaction has and the more secure it becomes. Now let's talk about time. You might have noticed that transaction confirmations can sometimes take a while. This is due to the nature of the Bitcoin network. The process of adding new blocks to the blockchain, also known as mining, happens approximately every 10 minutes. Therefore, each confirmation generally takes about 10 minutes. But this can vary depending on network congestion and mining difficulty. Remember, patience is a virtue in the world of Bitcoin transactions. While it might be tempting to fret over a transaction that's taking longer than expected to confirm, it's important to remember that this is a normal part of the process. The system is designed to prioritize security and accuracy over speed. So, after your transaction has been sufficiently confirmed, it's officially considered a part of the Bitcoin blockchain. This means the Bitcoins you sent have successfully moved to the recipient's wallet. It's the final stamp of approval from the network that your transaction is valid and irreversible. And there you have it. Your Bitcoin transaction is confirmed and complete. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned. The journey of a Bitcoin transaction begins with Bitcoin wallets, your personal interface to the Bitcoin network, much like your online bank account. This is where you manage your balance and initiate transactions. Initiating a Bitcoin transaction is a straightforward process. Simply enter the recipient's address, specify the amount you'd like to send, and hit send. But that's just the beginning. The transaction then enters the verification stage where miners compete to solve complex mathematical problems. Once they verify the transaction, it's included in a block and added to the Bitcoin blockchain. Finally, we reach the confirmation phase. This is when the transaction becomes part of the blockchain and is irreversible. And that, my friends, is how a Bitcoin transaction works. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of cryptocurrency.